let's get into my gripe. While I'm not one to complain, <laughs> I was going to edit that out. I was going to say, wait a second, back up. Because I, I guess we all have our moments, and I guess I do complain sometimes. I prefer to say I'm telling it like it is, but I'm going to tell it like it is here in today's video because I'm just at that point where I'm just going to tell it like it is. So I'm going to start today with, I'm going to start with these. These are, whoopsie, that's one of my favorite things. These are, everything has prices on it because I got it from a local scrapbook stamping store here in Canada. I'll link the store down below, but I'll link all the products if I can find them for everybody else in the world. Creative Expressions, they have these cutest little word dies. Now, I do have a video I plan on making for you guys to show you how to make your own word SVGs and then shadow them. But these were so inexpensive, I just couldn't help myself. And you know what? I don't mind buying dies if they actually cut something out rather than, because this I'm probably only going to cut out one or two times for a card or two. So I, I kind of took the splurge, I kind of splurged and got those. So I really, really enjoyed those. Miss you, just for you, love, happy, happy retirement, sending. And this sending is so cute because you can do, like do sending wishes, sending happy, sending joy, sending love. So glad we're friends. I'm so glad we're inky friends. <laughs> Miss you. I think I'm back at the beginning again. So those were super cute. Now, telling it like it is. I, I, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. By the time you see this video, I'm not sure if I'll still be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. However, I miss the little itty bitty greetings. Are you with me? This, you know, the Stampin' Up! itty bitty greetings. And my favorite things has some adorable ones, let me tell you. And I think this is the last one I needed to finish my collection. Little love notes. And I mean, will you look at these? And come on, look at the price, right? For that entire set. There's so many in there. I mean, and that's Canadian. What does that equate to? 57 cents American? <laughs> now, uh, let's talk about this one. This is currently, at the time of this video, a free, thank God, set in the celebration with, set, with Stampin' Up! celebration. Um, I opted to buy these ones <laughs> because these are what we want, what I want. Shout out in the comments below if these are the ones that you want. Tell me which one you like better. And you know what? I will completely respect your opinion because you might like these better and that's perfectly fine. I like these better. And honestly, for the price, I mean, this is a great deal. And I've wanted these for so, 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 so long. So I just thought I am picking them up. These, I promised you guys I would, um, well, I didn't promise. I said I would color these up and show you how to make them look cute. That's probably not happening. They're probably going to end up in my stash of things to give away or to sell or get rid of because these are what I'm going to want to be coloring and playing with because they're just too stinking adorable. This is what got me shopping, actually, because I ended up on the Brutus Monroe website because I was just shopping. I mean, who doesn't like Brutus Monroe? And I came across this, and this is foil reactive embossing powder. And I thought to myself, aren't all embossing powders foil reactive? I mean, you can take a embossing or a stamp, emboss it, or Versamark it. <laughs> Don't emboss your stamp. Versamark it, and then emboss the Versamarking, and then run that through your laminator with some foil, and it works. So Brutus, I'm curious. What makes yours so fantastic? I'm not sure, but I will say, looking at it, it looks like flocking. So this is, this this might be flocking amazing, or it may not be, so I will let you guys know. Stay tuned for that. And I will mention why that made me get to shopping, because I wanted to find it in Canada, because the Brutus Monroe shipping was astronomical to Canada. So if you're one of my Canadian inky friends, watch out for that because you may want to be shopping for your Brutus Monroe stuff somewhere else. I finally found my stays on replacement. Uh, a couple years ago, I pulled out my stays on white, opaque, cotton white, and it was not cotton white. It had yellowed. I should have maybe kept it. I mean, eh, I don't know, maybe not, but it was kind of yellowed and even the refill was kind of yellowed. Now, God willing, I will be able to will this to someone because those refills last forever. Now, I have something really cool to show you, and it's this shimmer stick dauber top. And this one is in frost, and it's made by Imagine. As soon as I read this and saw it, I was like, I know exactly what I want to do with this. Now, there's probably all kinds of other ideas, but I mean, you can just put together the cutest little background in no time, easy peasy, 
lemon squeezy. I mean, look at this. You can just go and go and go. I've already done that side for you, so let me save some time. But I mean, so cute, right? And depending on the size of your flowers, you could even be daubing your flowers. And to be perfectly frank with you, this really does look like Wink Estella, just a little more intense. Now, one other little thingy I got, and this, this is really just if you need to have all the things, because I need to have all the things, and they're these, I just took them out of the package. They're Copic tweezers. And the idea here is, that you can take these and grab your chisel end and easily pull them out to refill and then you're not soaking up any of the ink i have showed you guys you can take you know a, a scott's paper towel and just pull it out or whatnot but this here this is how copic had intended for you to do it and it won't damage them which is really nice so i had a pair and i don't you know those things you have that you put somewhere and you put them there because that's the place you should put them. It makes sense. And then when you go to find them, you can't find them. Okay, we have a little bit of an ambiance change here because I had to. I couldn't stand looking at the washed out screen anymore. I don't know what happened to my camera settings. The lighting in this room is always off with the window and the lighting. And I cannot wait to get moved downstairs. But let's get into my gripe. Okay, I used to be with Stampin' Up! years and years and years ago. And then all the little pretty sparkly things in the world kind of led me in a different direction, which may or may not be happening now. Anyhow, one of the things I've always, always loved is designer series paper, okay? Now, I say designer series paper because I'm stuck that word because of Stampin' Up! in my mind. I'm talking all pattern paper. And I am a six by six paper pad hoarding loving girl let me know thumbs up down there in the comments if you guys are hoarding your six by six papers too but here's my gripe the price number one okay this one was free thank god because all right this side's not too bad i mean it's marble and then this side i don't even want to look at it anymore <laughs> i mean thank god it was free but here's the here's my issue so and, and I got thinking about this over the last couple of years here, and I was like, this is what I hate. So there's multiples of each one, $15.95 for 40, but they repeat themselves over and over and over. And I mean, would I pay $15.95 for this if I wasn't a demo? I get 25% off. I certainly would not. Would I pay $15.95 for this if I wasn't a demo? I certainly would not. Would I pay $15.95 less the discount if I didn't have a YouTube channel and I didn't do unboxings to show all of my lovely inky friends? I would not. So I've decided I'm not buying anything anymore that I'm not going to use. So things are going to change. And I got something to show you guys I'm so excited about. I'm a little bit out of control. Okay. <laughs> Hello. My name is Cindy Lynn and I'm addicted to pretty paper and all kinds of other pretty things. <laughs> do you want a chair next to me? So I have got, first of all, um, these are backwards. I, I, I've already filmed this and they were the other way. So I'm going to show them to you backwards. But the Prima, I actually didn't know this was Prima until the last time I just recorded this. So I was really happy about that because if you've seen my Prima flowers, you know I'm a Prima girl. And the colors in here, and basically this one here is called Surfboard. That's what kind of drew me to it because you can only see this on the website, right? Like you can't really see all of this. So, I mean, I'm really happy with this. Now, this one repeats itself quite a bit, but you know, there's just something about this repeating itself that I'm just not mad at. I mean, look at this one. Oh, I really suck at doing scenes with water. So I have already got one of these box cards here. I've already got one of these in mind for this. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this on your cutting machines as well. I'm gonna give you an SVG. But moving on, I just did that ephemera video, right? So when I was on the website, I hadn't actually uploaded the video for you guys, but when I was on this website, I saw this one. And this is by, I want to say Chow Bella, C-I-A-O, Chow Bella, I think that's right, Modern Times. But I mean, this here, oh, I got to see if I can find this for my U.S. and key friends. The stuff in here, I mean, there's a scene right there. Hello, that is so cute. I think I'm looking at the backside. Let's look at it this way. Oh, there's a scene right there. Look at the little doggy. So cute, right? You can cut this up. I mean, this is so Tim Holtzy. It's unbelievable. And it was really well priced. I don't have the price tag on here, but it was really well priced. 
I really, oh, that one's kind of cool right there. Oh, that's the same one. I really like that one though, obviously. I may have to actually pick up another one or two of those because you know what happens when your favorite paper disappears, right? You're like, why didn't I buy more? Lawn Fawn had a couple. And this one here for my inky, loving, splattering friends, this one has all kinds of splatters on it in all kinds of pastels. And there's no saying that you can't just splatter it up some more and now you've got some awesome backgrounds. And then in the woods, okay, remember I was talking about deers in my last unboxing? Why can't we have cutesy deers and cutesy, I mean, Stampin' Up! Why? Why can't you do this? Every other company is doing it. It just, it, it, everybody's cheating on you with their, with their paper purchases because, I mean, it's just not where it's at. So, oh, the orange, I can make a, a card, a Todd, I can make a card for Todd with that. But there's so many cute little, I love these. I love, love, love this little in the woods pack. Now here, honeybee, this one's beach vibes, but beach vibes, words are hard. I don't think I own anything honeybee. So I think this is my first honeybee product, but I was, I was kind of drawn to this because I thought I could see a little bit of alcohol inky stuff in here. But let me show you. I mean, you could use this as a background right here and then this as a background right here. But the one I like the most, this one, I'm obsessed with that board. I love that. What is that called when it does that? I know patina, but isn't patina like the rusty orangey color? Is this patina as well? I don't even know. Let me know in the comments below. There's a little alcohol inky one there. But I mean, I'm just loving this one. Beach vibes. Honeybee. Now, doodlebug. I went a little bit, let me move this over. I went a little bit crazy on the doodlebug here, okay? And it almost looks like I had duplicates. I almost thought I did. But are you seeing here a, a, a theme, a pattern? I just, oh, this one here has got some little llamas in it. And the colors. I mean, I love my brights when you mix them properly. And those are so stinking cute. I mean, I could go through this, I could all of them and we could be here all night. I'll probably show um, in my Stampin' Chat or in my class or whatnot for my Inky Besties and Inky Buddy channel members, but I will let you know I got the Hay Cupcake because I just couldn't help myself. And then Fairy Garden, because again, this one is the same kind of uh, ooey gooey, gooey 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 goodness. And then French Kiss. I've got actually a little cinematic over on my vlog channel, I Dream of Paris. I put together a whole bunch of just random clips and then added some music and added a few things to it. If you like my little thingies in my videos, then definitely go check out my vlog channel for my uh, cinematics because that those are the, those are my fun my fun times. So here, fairy tales. I mean, again, I got to make some little girl little girl cards for my Etsy. And speaking of Etsy, thank you so much for checking out my Etsy and a few of you guys have gone and helped support me and picked up a card that really really helps when you have a brand new shop so I appreciate that so if you are a card lover and you'd like to support me or just go see what there is I will link that down below for you but this one here hippity hop I'm ready for Easter I'm ready for the snow to melt I'm ready for the daffodils and the tulips to pop and need with love I mean these dad just loves anything sweets so Yes, these are so, so cute. And they're, all these colors are right up my alley. Do you like the primary colors? This one made with love. Sweet Summer. I mean, this is, oh, I love this one here. Where'd it go? That one right there. I mean, for all the papers I don't like that are busy, I love that just because of the colors in there. And look at the little palm trees. Oh, I just picked up those stamps, my favorite things with the monkeys. That would look so cute on there. I mean, they're adorable. And then under the sea, because again, I struggle with sea cards. So I figured this would help me make some cute backgrounds. And I'm really going to go crazy on those little box cards. And I'm, I'm actually going to try to make the slimline version of that. So definitely stay tuned for that. Now, Bow Bunny. First of all, this one. I could not, I, I, I just, pink and green. If you know me, you know, I, if you know me, <laughs> if you know me, you're my homie and you know, I love pink and green, right? And this one is just right up my pink and green loving alley. I should probably pick up another one of those. This one is called Jungle Life, but I mean this, I did not buy the last jungle paper the Stampin' Up! came out with because quite frankly, 
I'm sorry if you bought it and you liked it. I personally didn't like it. And you know what? There's probably things here that I love that you don't love, but that's what makes us all, that's what makes us all unique and different. And that's perfectly okay. But this, I really like. This is right up my jungle alley. Like I am, I was going to say I am Tarzan. Hear me, Jane. <laughs> I guess I would be Jane. I am Jane. Hear me, Tarzan. I'm going to make me some jungle cards with that because I have all kinds of jungle animals. I had a dining room once that was all blue and yellow. And when I saw this paper pack, it reminded me of that. And I loved all my little pieces and things that I had put in that room. And then my house burned down. And I've never gone with a yellow and blue theme ever since. But I will honor the theme. Oh, that's kind of cute with the birds. With the cardstock. And this one is kind of like vintagey feeling. So, I mean, I'm liking that one. So if you like the vintagey stuff, that's a nice color. And of course, pink and yellow. Who doesn't love pink and yellow? I mean, ugh, that looks like a stencil. Where'd it go? Doesn't that look like a stencil? That would be so pretty if you stenciled over top of it, you know, just cut it in half, used half of it on your card. And yeah, that would be so pretty. And speaking of card, what is with, I forgot to mention in my unboxing, what's with the four by six paper now that Stampin' Up's coming up with? I just, no, I'm not having it. I want my six by six. I want my six by six and I am done, 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 done. So I have got cotton, which one was that? Petal Lane, this one's Cottontail because Easter and things, you know, it's coming. The spring is on its way here. I found Echo Park. I had never heard of Echo Park before. I know I can almost hear you guys letting me know, oh my God, how much you love them. I am a new lover of them too because they have got, they have got some really competitive, stinking cute paper, let me tell you. So this one, my dog, I mean, I'm all about any, I have so many paper packs for dogs. I mean, why do we buy these? Because we don't make dog cards, but again here, with all the little doggies and I just got a set from Stan uh, from my favorite things that I absolutely think is adorable so I'm going to put the little fire hydrant and the little dog peeing and I can't remember the name of the set right now but you probably know but you'll see it in one of my upcoming cards magical birthday again I've got to make some birthday cards for my Etsy shop and this these colors I just fell in love with those colors they're absolutely gorgeous spring now That's what cute boots look like. Can I just say that's what cute boots look like? I mean, it kind of goes without saying what I'm talking about. And there, that is what a cute bee looks like. I hate looking at my cardstock and thinking like it, it there's literally like a squash bug on it because it looks so real. Little umbrellas, I love that. I don't know, do you like your bugs and stuff to look lifelike? I don't like them to look like, I don't like bugs. So I don't like them to look lifelike, especially like spiders. Ooh, no, thank you. So this one, yeah. Absolutely adorable. Another Easter one. I mean, oh, that one was super cute right there. Look at those colors. I am, oh, and these little, there's lots of these little things in there too. Super cute, right? I mean, right up my cutesy alley, all boy. Now it does say, oh, is it all boy or fall boy? No, it's all. I thought the dinosaur was an F. All boy. Okay, so this one, even though it says boy, there is absolutely some masculine patterns in here. I mean, look, at there's a card right there. There, this one and this one. I mean, there's lots of masculine. And look at this. If you have a bicycle stamp, ooh, there's some sharks. That's kind of cool. So there's all kinds of cute ones in here. There's some really cool little cars. I wonder if oh, I can never tell. I only know that a car is a Mustang when Todd's watching TV and he goes, hey, what kind of car is that? I don't even have to look. I know it's going to be a Mustang because he never says it any other time, right? So nevertheless, which one is this? I love Easter. Do you love Easter? Do you make cards for Easter? I like making cards for Easter. Any reason to make a card and send out a card to someone special is a is a definitely a good reason to send a card, right? And I really like those. So there you have it. Stay tuned for lots of awesome new videos coming up and some rather surprising news. And until I see you again, take care and happy stamping.